So um, before we get started, I just want to quickly take you through the informed consent. Um, it's very similar to the one that we did last time, but I will just briefly go with, um, with you through it again. Um, so the okay. principal investigator on the study is Dr. Mans Buttram, and his contact details are here. The compliance contact okay. officer is Rowind Walker, and her details are here. And I will send you a copy of this as well. So the goal of the study is to gather information about the non-medical use of prescription drugs, including prescription painkillers and neurological medications. I'll also ask you about the use of other substances, treatment for substance use, and about decisions to engage in non-medical use of prescription drugs. This one-on-one -on -one interview will be completed with me, and it should last about 30 to 45 minutes. I will not ask you the names of anyone or specific dates or places of any of your activities. Risks to you are minimal, which means that they are not thought to be greater than risks that you would encounter in everyday life. Um, if you partake in the study, you may feel a little bit upset um, when recounting some of your experiences. You may refuse to answer any questions that I ask, and you may uh, choose to stop this interview at any time. Um, we take all uh, possible steps to protect confidentiality. If you accidentally do mention a name, we will edit that out of the transcript. Um, as I've mentioned, your participation in this research is completely vol voluntary. Um, you're not required to participate in the study or any other, and you can choose to stop at any time. Um, and if you could just read the statement of consent from I and ending with investigator, please. I have read the description, including the purpose of the study, the procedures to be used, the potential risks, the confidentiality, as well as the option to discontinue participation at any time. Each of these items has been explained to me by the investigator. The investigator has answered all of my questions regarding the study, and I believe I understand what is involved. I indicate that I freely agree to participate in this study, and that I have received a copy of this agreement from the investigator. Thank you very much. So I don't have anything um, to share on my screen with you today. I'll just be asking you questions. This is more of a conversational interview. So I'm just going to um, go over what the purpose of this interview is, and then we can get started um, on it. So we're specifically conducting a study on the non-medical use of prescription drugs like gabapentin and the combination misuse of gabapentin um, and medication-assisted treatment medications like buprenorphine and methadone. Um, so we'll call this GABA mat co misuse just for short from this point on. Um, and when we okay. talk about prescription drugs, remember we're not um, including prescription drugs that you have used as instructed by a doctor. Instead, we're okay. talking about misuse or use not as prescribed. So this can include taking gabapentin that was not prescribed to you or taking gabapentin in a way other than intended, such as taking higher doses or taking it more frequently than directed. And misuse may also include taking gabapentin to get high, for fun, to relax, to come down, to self-medicate, and so forth. So I'm really interested in hearing about when and why you started misusing gabapentin, um, how you use them, where you get them, your attitudes about the, these drugs. Um, and I, I would like you just to remember that there are no right or wrong answers. I'm simply interested in your experiences um, with gabamat co-misuse. Um, and I won't assume anything about your experiences, so free, feel free to tell me whatever you'd like to share. Um, okay. As I mentioned, it should last for about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, okay, so let's just get started. Could you just tell me a little bit more about yourself, anything that you'd like to share about your background and so forth? There's a lie. Um, okay, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, are you currently working at the moment? Uh, uh, no, I, I mean, I do, I will be starting shoveling snow for, um, my church and a few other clients. Okay. So that's just, you know, seasonal work. And I'm hoping, mm -hmm. I have an interview with, uh, Domino's tomorrow, actually. Okay. So. Okay, good luck for your interview. I hope that goes well. Thank you. Okay. And um, how many kids do you have? Uh, just the one. Just the one. Okay. Okay. Um, so could you start telling me a little bit more about um, your gabapentin misuse and also how long you've been on, is it methadone, if I remember correctly? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I've been on it since, uh, since I think, July. Okay. And the... Mommy? Yes, baby. 
Where's my truth hole? And, and uh, the, I, I started... And I'm sorry, what was the other question? And then gabapentin. How long have you been misusing gabapentin? Uh, since 2019. Okay. And what dose of gabapentin do you take? Uh, 300. Uh, so the pills are 300 each, is that right? Yes, that's correct. And how many would you take at a time? I, um, like four. Four at a time, okay. And what is your main reason for taking those? Uh, self-medicate. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that um, in terms of the self-medicating? Um, well, it just kind of helps me relish a little bit. and mm. Yes, baby. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, it's, I think, yeah, it just kind of helps me relax. I don't know how else to mm -hmm. better describe it. Okay. Um, and um, in terms of the methadone, are you on that every day? Yes. And what dosage of methadone are you on? 150. Okay. And so how often would it be methadone and gabapentin at the same time? How often would that be happening? Um, not, uh, not very often. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Like on, on a day to day or like, uh, or like hour to hour? Uh, well, either. So are, are you doing it every day where you would be taking additional gabapentin pills? Yes. Okay. And how many times in a day then would you take um, those four additional gabapentin pills? Um, at least twice. Okay. And what what is that? You, you mentioned to help you relax, but you also mentioned self-medicating. And when you say self-medicating, is that for pain or what? what is that for? Um, uh, did I get it prescribed? Well, why? Well, okay, so did, oh, did you get it prescribed? Yes, I, yeah, for, yes I, I did give it prescribed. Okay, but um, you're using more of your own prescription. Right. Yeah. I see. Okay. And uh, what I was asking is, is it, you mentioned self-medicating and is that self-medicating for pain? Uh, yes, mostly, yes. What type of pain are you experiencing? Uh, nerve pain. Mm-hmm. Was that caused by something specific? Um, I had uh, compartment, syndrome, compartment syndrome and rhabdomyolysis uh, back in January of 2019. I see. And has the pain been quite persistent ever since 2019? Yes. Okay. And was the gabapentin initially prescribed specifically for pain or why was it prescribed? Uh, yes, it was, or it was to um, help with nerve, nerve regeneration. Okay, so with the nerve pain and nerve regeneration specifically? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I see. And so you get the gabapentin prescribed, but you're using more than you should be using. That's correct. And so is all of the gabapentin you're using coming from your prescription, or are you finding other ways of getting gabapentin? No, just from my prescription. Just from your prescription. Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit more about what does it feel like when you take gabapentin and you are on your methadone? What what does that feel like physically? Um, I, it's I guess just a, mommy fine here, buddy. Sorry, that's okay. Um, I'm right here. Mommy's right here. Hi, hi. hi. I'm about to blow on your knee. You want to make a No, you're just going to keep running around. All right. Sorry. No worries. Um, just, yeah, it's who, it's like a, like a, I don't know, it's probably all in my head, but mostly just the relaxing and the, um, stooping kind of. Mommy, give the help? Okay. Oh, really? Should we go put the puzzle pieces away? Can we finish the puzzle first? No? Okay. Sorry. No, that's okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry, what was the question? So I was just wondering what it feels like in your body. So physically, what are you feeling when you're taking the gabapentin and you're on your methadone? Um, it's just like the, uh, yeah, there's a enhanced black black signal feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Okay. Does do you feel a reduction in the pain? Yes, definitely. Okay. 
And how did you know how much you could safely take of, of the gabapentin? How did you figure that out? Um, I guess I never really figured it out. I just kind of um, got to a point that I would, you know, I'm out, I would take and that seemed good to for me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, puzzles. Yeah, we like puzzles, huh? Oh, look, a, a vehicle puzzle. Wait, you guys need to try this one. So that was a process of experimentation to kind of figure out how much you should take and what had the kind of desired effect in terms of the relaxation and the re pain reduction. Yes. Okay. And then for you, that is taking four at a time of the 300 milligram pills. Yep. Okay. And you said some days you would take like eight of that. And is, are those eight pills over and above <laughs> what you've been prescribed? Yes. How much How much are you prescribed at the moment to take on a daily basis? Um, I'm, on, on a daily basis, I'm supposed to be taking so two or three. Okay. And then over and above those two or three, you're taking sometimes an extra eight. So on some days you would ta be taking like 10 or a third, yeah, like yeah. 10, around 10 or 11 pills, yeah. gabapentin pills. Yeah. Okay. And on how many days would you be taking that many, for instance, in a month? Um, in one month, probably at least 15. Okay. And w when are you feeling the need to take them? Is it if you're feeling more pain? Is it specifically, like you're saying, just to help you relax? When are you feeling the need to take that many gabapentin pills? Probably more so when I'm in pain. When you're in pain. Okay. Are there any other things that it helps with, like, for instance, sleep or anything like that? Uh, not really, no. Okay. Okay. Not really, no, so. Okay. Um, and in terms of your opioid use, how are things going with that? Uh, I've, I've definitely noticed I've been slowing down, but I still have not yet to, not, not have yet to curb it, so. Okay. Completely. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so are you still, uh, w what are you still using at the moment? Um, the, um, um, uh, sorry, I'm like in a library. Um, oh, okay. The, 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 okay, no, that's totally yeah. fine. You, you, you don't need to answer that question. That's totally okay. okay. Yeah. Yes, no, that's, cool. totally, that's totally fine. Um, Okay, so we've spoken a little bit about um, the physical effects. Can you tell me a bit more about the psychological effects of, of using GABA and with your um, methadone at the same time? I know you've, you've mentioned to help you relax, but can you tell me a little bit more about that? Um, oh. I guess it just kind of makes me helps me pause my thoughts, I guess, and lets me, it, it helps with like the racing thoughts and it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Is that something you usually struggle with, with the racing thoughts? Uh, yes. Okay. The anxiety, mm -hmm. the racing thoughts, obsessive thoughts, yeah. Okay. And you're mm -hmm. saying that, so in addition to just helping you relax and with, in helping with pain, it also helps with those racing thoughts and does it reduce those racing thoughts? Yes, definitely. Okay. I see. Okay. Um, and are there any negative experiences from using gabapentin with your methadone? Have you found anything negative from that? Um, not really. No, I think it like, it, it's definitely, it's, it's, no, I, I can't think of anything negative about it. Really. Okay. Okay. And you haven't, I, I think that mm -hmm. some, it, it sometimes keeps me up more than I would like it to, but. Okay. So you feel more alert on, on that combination? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you haven't been afraid of like an overdose if you take too many gabapentin or anything along those lines? Do you feel like it's safe to take? Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. Um, and in terms of the gabapentin, you just take that orally, is that correct? Yeah, 
Because that's very good. Okay. Okay, is there anything else that you'd like to um, share with me just in terms of the gabapentin and the methadone together? Um, is it something that you think you'll keep doing for now? I think so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And and that's uh, what would you say your primary motivation for doing that combination together? I mean, I know why you're on the methadone, but what's your primary reason for taking the gabapentin while you're on the methadone? Um, not like I was saying for the, for the pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's probably the primary reason. Okay, okay. Okay, well, um, I think we've covered most of what I wanted to discuss today. Um, unless there's anything else that you'd like to share um, with me about this. Yeah. I'm sorry, what's that question? I, I said, I think we've covered most of what I wanted to cover for today. Unless there's anything else that you feel that you wanted to share with me for today. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thank okay, you. well, thank you for thank taking you. the time to meet with me. Um, and I will send you that gift card. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.